and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video where today guys I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a bunch of different interior design pieces of furniture so please leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new and let me just serve this customer oh here. but now that I've finished with my shift at the coffee shop guys I'm now going to show you guys various different t uh, furniture and interior design techniques for your building so let's get to it so what you guys are going to want to do for this first piece of furniture you guys may recognize this design from the previous video that we did on this design we covered this design a while back um, but some of you guys have been asking me about it recently so i thought i'd cover it here so the first design guys is going to be um the chair that you guys see in the coffee shop so what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to place your banners like so and then you guys are going to want to have your chair um stairs placed on top of that and then you can have a nice little effect of little seats and like cushions and stuff just to add an extra bit of value and depth to your chairs when you're just doing generic chairs like so this next design guys just requires red concrete and quartz stairs it's a really simple ca um couch little setup so what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to mark it out however wide you want your tape um, thing to be. And then you guys are just going to add some slabs. That one is really, really simple, really easy. And just, yeah, you guys can do that very easily. It's not resource intense. Um, you can replace the quartz or the concrete with a block of your choice as long as it looks decent. Um, but yeah, now let's go on to the next piece of furniture. So the next design, guys, we are going to be doing is we are going to be doing a simple pair of chairs and tables so what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to do this this is a really simple way of making a chair guys in case you just want a chair and then you guys are going to want to add in a you're going to add in your seating um table so you guys are going to want to do that that and you guys are going to want to do however way you want it so you guys are going to do that and then you guys are going to do that and then you guys are going to want to do this you don't need to have the uh you don't need to have the uh structure voids in this because this is super simple guys you just need to have the initial four blocks of fences uh scattered like so and then you guys can easily make your table like so and then you guys can just do the other chair like so so you guys can just do it here and then you guys do that and finally you do that and then you've got there you go you got something really quick and simple just a simple little table for you guys um but yeah it works really really well in any kind of world and the next one guys is going to be a shelf area so what you guys are going to want to do in order for this to work is you guys are going to want to mark this out like so so you guys are just simply going to want to Remember these blocks are changeable for any of the other types of wood that you may prefer uh, and then you can place your like plant pots on this afterwards and stuff. It is actually really really nice and simplistic for you guys to do. You don't have to worry about too much about thinking about it but you guys can just add in your furniture like so and uh, yeah this is something super simple but this is a shelf guys. Let me just get a plant pot so I can show you guys. Um, it does actually work really really nicely with like when you're trying to do like little small details like plants and like you're trying to add a bit of life to a certain section like see there you go you can place a plant pot but yeah it's just a simple little um, shelf area guys so if you wanted to have something like that there's a shelf. You guys are probably also wondering what about an aquarium? Well I've done a tutorial on an aquarium I won't do it on this video but if you guys want to go watch that I will re remember to link that in the description of this video as well as um, the um, chair design that I taught you guys in a previous video so yeah go check that out um, because that's a lot to cover in one video but yeah let's carry on with the next so guys one. the next few we are going to do are going to be bed so what you guys are going to need to do this next bed is you guys are going to obviously need a wooden block of your choice or a slab with a slab block um, so make sure it's one color because this is going to be your parameter around your bed so make sure you guys are using a color that you think will work best with your bed so what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to do this um make sure you guys are using similar colors so it matches up kind of nicely 
Um, but what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to just mark out your bed that you guys are going to make here like so. Um, I'm going to make it this big for the sake of this tutorial. Um, but you guys can make it bigger, smaller, however much you want. So this is your bed area guys for this um, video. So what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are now going to want to add in your color. So your block color. So you guys may want to do, oh I don't know. Let's say you want you want to have a black bed. So you guys are just going to want to simply add it in like so. And then you guys should be able to do obviously your pillows which can go behind it. Um, where would that be? Okay. Um, we're going to be adding in white pillows. I know some people may not have white pillows, but um, but that doesn't. It's just white concrete powder for the sake of this tutorial. And then you guys can do like a fancy little um, parameter thing behind it, and uh, just to make sure that uh, obviously you're keeping it to a nice high standard. You know when you're doing your nice little builds. Um, but yeah, you guys, all you just want to do is, you're just going to want to follow this along, you're just going to want to do this, you're going to want to do this, and then you guys are just simply going to want to do that, in order for you guys to create a nice, simple looking little bed thing, it's going to look really nice, I mean, I would also recommend when you guys get to the section where you want to cut it off, you just do something like that, just to make it look really simple. And you could probably, honestly, if you really wanted to, guys, you could put something in this. So, like, you could have bookcases behind it or something. And, uh, yeah, you could really make this work. Or you could just or you could just leave that open as, as like, the wall behind it. Um, but, yeah, that is a really cool bed design. Next, you guys are going to want to build a really simple bookcase. This is a simplistic design. You guys may have seen something similar to this on a survival world that I played on back a year ago um, but this is a really nice little simple bookcase you guys only need some stairs and some slabs for this um, but you can just edit it slightly to make it fit what you're trying to do um, but this is a really simple nice little unique design uh, you can tweak it obviously so maybe you get rid of so instead of having this here you just have the stairs which I was originally going to show you guys off so if you guys prefer that then I would I, I honestly kind of do prefer that myself but it's up to you in which one you guys use personally. Um, but yeah, this is what it should look like after you're done. And uh, you guys can place bookcases behind it to add extra like bookcase effect to it. But yeah, you can't do plant pots on this one. That's the only downside to it. But yeah, now let's go on to our next piece of furniture. High rise type chair. All you guys have to do is push a lever up. And then you guys want to want to place a trap door on top of it. And then you guys are going to want to go across on all four sides of all three sides sorry and then place them in you guys can get rid of the lever afterwards but it will just end up removing it so what i'd recommend you guys do is you guys try and hide it so you guys end up trying to have something hidden above it or something so maybe what i'd recommend you do is you have like maybe a piece of carpet covering it or something that just makes it less likely to be seen by people um you wouldn't really necessarily have this visible to people anyways um, because obviously this would probably be in like a kitchen type area or a business office area. So you probably wouldn't see this anyways. You probably have like something underneath it just to make sure that you do not have that effect ruined. But yeah, here is a simple little high rise chair for you guys to add into your world. So what you guys are going to want to do to build this really simple little parasol type table. Is you guys are going to want to make sure that you guys do a... T um, table like this so you guys are going to want to do three stairs by three in order to make the little table and then you guys are going to want to place one block in between just to make sure it's like a, a pillar block and then you guys are going to want to do three up in fences you're going to want to do a fence gate on top of that and then you guys are going to want to place beds like so but you guys in order to do this you guys have to have blocks underneath so place blocks temporarily underneath so you guys can do this little parasol formation and then you guys should be done with that. Um, it, you guys won't be able to see really that part. So don't worry about this bit too much guys. It's just more there as an effect. Um, but yeah that is a really simple little parasol how, um, little table thing that you guys can use in your world. We're going to cover together because they are really really simple to do. Uh, this is gym equipment. So this is your treadmill. Obviously guys this is one block lower than it should be. So make sure you guys, when it is on this, it should be at 
the exact same section so this block should be on the same section as your blocks here which is your treadmill um, so make sure this is literally the block above it rather than being like literally like this it kind of weird otherwise um, but yeah make sure that this is elevated to meet this area here in order for you guys to be able to register this as a proper treadmill where you guys will be doing lots and lots of running uh, this is a really simple design so it's just redstone lamps underneath black carpet and then you guys are going to want to do a block of your choice just to like cover up towards this and then you guys are going to want to do that you don't even need this to be honest you guys because this should be where you have your redstone lamp um row of redstone lamps going across so yeah like you should have a redstone lamp there to be honest um but yeah then you guys are going to want to do iron trap iron gate sorry and then you guys are going to want to do the same for iron fences on this side and then you guys are going to want to make sure you have a door on the second block um by then doing that and then you guys will have a trap pl pressure plate here ready for you guys to do your running and uh, this is really simple this is just anvils tilted on a 90 degree angle um or 180 degree angle uh, depending on how you guys want your dumbbells to be done this is just a dumbbell thing basically and then this is your bench press um little um piece of equipment so yeah those are the fitness dash gym related equipment that are in this tutorial now let's continue on to the next design so for the first part of this two-part um tutorial for this next bit guys is you guys are going to want to make sure you guys have a chair belt really simple little chair and um, because this is going to be where you do your dressing room so make sure you guys have a plenty of space to do this because you guys are going to need quite a bit to do this so let's get to it so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to make sure you guys have at least like two blocks between it just to give it a little bit of realism um but yeah make sure you guys have this going along here um so you guys have that going along and uh, make sure you guys have it mostly be slabs because uh, that is very helpful when you're doing this um the only blocks that shouldn't be is the end block on either side so let's say that is going to be the end block on that side and then we're going to have this be here the stair go here and then that be the end block on that side um obviously this isn't quite centered either guys so make sure it, it is centered or as close to centered or you guys could just simply edit the size of it and make it a too wide like so in order for it to just kind of work a bit better with your area but yeah that is how you do that and uh yeah now you guys will want to make sure that you do your little trash can so your trash can will go here so let's do that really quickly it's just a simple little trash can nothing too fancy you guys and um, you do that on both sides um obviously make sure you guys have some room for this because this can get pretty pretty large um but you guys then will have to go a few blocks up with this so you guys are going to want to go up by i believe it is five yes it's no it's only three it's like three blocks and then we guys are simply just going to show you guys how we do this so it's just going to be twisted slightly this has to be twisted guys so make sure when you're doing this it is twisted um don't let it not be twisted because otherwise that's not going to work uh but yeah you got to make sure that it's that and then you guys have to make sure that um or you can leave it like that honestly either way works but i would say to have it twisted um, but then you guys have to make sure that this is going upwards like so just so you can ensure that you guys i would say have it up by one more just so you guys can get that effect going on it with it so you guys have that going along so you guys can have this like so and then you guys are going to want to have this kind of go like so for however many blocks you guys decide to have it go across and then you guys are going to want to just fill in this back bit really really straightforward um yeah this is literally what you have to do so you just make sure that it's filled in uh, obviously you guys don't want it to look too too bad so you guys may want to do some tweaks um dash changes so like maybe like for instance i have i just did maybe like a few minor little changes so like for this i added in the twist effect just to do that um to what i was originally going to show you guys um but yeah you guys then have to just simply make sure that it all looks nice and make sure it works efficiently 
um, because otherwise if it doesn't work efficiently guys it will just look not good and it will look really bad um, but yeah that is that and then you guys are finally going to want to add in your ice which will be your mirror effect so you guys the ice is a very important part of this because you guys just want to make sure that the ice is displaying the back part um and for the for the round around it guys is you just simply want to do black black um black concrete if it's in like a showroom or whatever um but yeah this is a really really simple little um nice design um, this is like a nice dressing room type effect that you guys can use in your world if you guys are trying to do like a theater or whatever and if you guys need light make sure you guys use light blocks or torches just something that will fit in this little space nicely nothing too bold and extravagant but yeah you and then you guys simply at the end are just gonna simply want to add in some fence gates um so let's get some iron fence gates real quick i call them iron fence gates they're actually iron bars guys um but then you guys are simply just gonna want to add in them like so you're gonna add them in on either side to complete the dressing room but yeah but if you guys enjoyed this furniture tutorial make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe i really would really appreciate it thank you guys so much for tuning into another amazing video and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye guys